Hello, in this video we will explain how to send WhatsApp interactive messages to your customers. So uh, WhatsApp interactive messages looks like this. There is two types of interactive messages. The first one is the buttons message like this one and the second one is the list message like this one. So let's talk about buttons first. There is three types of buttons. The first is the text button. The second is the link button. Here in the link you can put your uh, online store uh, link or a product link or Instagram page link, Facebook page, uh, Telegram channel, any YouTube video, anything you can place here. And uh, the third type of buttons is the call button. If you need to uh, receive calls from your uh, customers for your business, you can send this call button. It makes it a lot easier for your customers to call your business. So let's see. This is a video I have uh, recorded from my mobile to show you how this works for the customer. So here, if the customer clicks on the text button, it will send the same text. We, here we named it for the tutorial text button test. You can name it anything. If he clicks on it, it will send the same text. You, we can uh, use this to say, trigger chatbot or auto reply. The other type is the link button. If the customer clicks on it, it will show this message. It can drive traffic to your store to uh, anything you need. And the third type is the call. If he clicks on call, it will redirect him like this to call your business. This is the first type of interactive messages. The other type is the list like this one when the customer clicks on the button of your list you can put here like seven or eight options for your customer this is really really useful for all business and it improves the reply rate for your whatsapp messages so much like three or four times so how to do it from our automate dashboard after we scan the QR code to connect our WhatsApp number to the dashboard. <coughs> Sorry. After we scan the QR here, we go to the WhatsApp tab. We can see the connected numbers here. I have only two here. We will choose this one. We go to the this icon for the interactive messages. And then we have lists and uh, buttons. We will focus on buttons because this is the most used and the most effective. We'll, uh, we'll click on uh, add new. We choose a name for our button. This is for us. This one, uh, the customer won't see this one. We will uh, name it button 11. The caption is this one, is the headline. So here we can uh, say uh, button headline tutorial. And we can also attach media like uh, image or video with the button, but for this tutorial we will only use text. The subtext is this one. Okay, we will uh, choose uh, subtext button tutorial. And here we can start adding our buttons. Here we have three buttons. For this tutorial, we will add only one, like text button tutorial. If you want to add more, you can click on add new option and add like another link button or call action button or another even you can send like three text buttons in the same message. But, but for this tutorial, we will choose only one. So now we have a button message with only one text button. It's created here. Okay. Then we need to send it to our customers. We go to here. Bulk messaging. And then we click on create campaign. In the previous video we have discussed, explained how to add your contact group or list of numbers. It's very easy. Here we choose uh, contact group. We will choose this. This is my number. We can name our campaign anything like gg from here we choose buttons we don't choose text and media because we want to send a button like this we have already created a button right now we click here and we choose our button this is the button that we have just created 
then we click on schedule this contact group contains only one number it's my number if we go here we will see that it has been sent if i click here it will send the same message thank you and see you later